I now have William Morris, William Morris behind me. And Fred Wilson had had, had run his, uh, his series, I think, uh, for three or four years, and he was tired of it. So NBC said, you can't, please don't leave. So, all right, I'll do four specials. All right, I'll do four. So I get a call, you know, and just Black Rider, you know, here, please, Black Rider, please take him. And the producer is Lauren Michaels, now of Saturday Night Live. And again, you know, the, 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 the pep talk is if you don't, you know, if you don't blow this, you got the job. Then for the support guys. So I, I walk in, and he and a man named Monty Kay, who had been Philip's manager, um, a man who was Jewish, who took injections to make himself look black. Yeah, worked on me, but um, uh, I got hired. Um, the, I mean, there were several writers of great prominence in that show, and a man named Earl Pomerantz, who created The Cosby Show. Um, he wrote the first four episodes and set the template, and then he quit, because he realized that Bill was gonna drive him crazy. Um, a writer named Carl Gottlieb, uh, Dan knows from Guild Matters, but uh, Carl wrote the screenplay of the movie Jaws and some other movies. Uh, who else? No, first special. Well, John Bonney ended up coming along. Um, and then Lauren went to produce uh, a special with Lily, uh, Lily, Lily Tomlin. Lily Tomlin. And they brought in <laughs> and a writer who had been a comic uh, named Jack Burns, who uh, Burns and Trevor. Uh, God, and nobody knows what this I mean, they were speaking at the television show, and Jack was this acerbic Irish Boston guy, and he, the, you know, the sketch would begin with him saying, Kib, 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 taxi, it would be Avery Schreiber, the Jewish guy, taxi, Kib, taxi, Kib, it's a taxi cab. And the sketch was about this complaining guy in the back seat, you know, his giving his advice, lecturing this, this you know, no, you're weirdos, no, you're weirdos. So when you see a weirdo, you can whack him. That's right, whack your weirdo. So now to bring in this guy, and he, I mean, Lauren was not, I mean, Lauren, Lauren was not hands on, but you know, uh, Lauren was very, very businesslike, and uh, in fact, the, the first, the, for the first special, we, we had Peter Sellers. Uh, um, Helen Reddy, um, three, Mama Cass, three big, big stars. And we had, at the reading, uh, and the man, their managers were there, of course. At the first reading, uh, we had to throw the entire script out because managers had convinced them there's not enough for you to do in the script. You need more to do. So we have to rewrite the entire hour long special overnight. Uh, and Lauren and I ended up writing a sketch together, drinking cognac, which is how you know you create an intimacy with uh, your partner. And you know you, you're writing, then you take two more sips, then you write them, then you take two more sips, and you say, God damn it, what the fuck are we doing here? God, damn, can you can believe that motherfucker? Okay, let's write again. And then you're feeling good. You know, many many shows were written in influence of alcohol. In fact, most shows back in the day, because that, that's what you did. That's what you did. But Jack Burns would basically tell the stories. <laughs> and they were hysterical stories. I mean, he was a hurricane chaser. He loved to go chase hurricanes. Um, he had some intimates who were on the rather randy side of life. But he was great. I saw him about seven years ago. His hair is snow white. Uh, he's out of the business. Uh, but he was a very, very funny man and a very generous man, too.